Hey, this is Richard with Puget System Support. Today I'm going to shoot a quick little video here to show you the best practices when cleaning your laptop. Uh, the tools that you're going to need are a Phillips screwdriver, a small one preferably if you have it, and then a can of compressed air. Um, the first thing you want to make sure to do is you want to remove your battery. So I'll just go ahead and remove this one. Now, batteries all look a little different depending on the model of the laptop that you have, but you want to make sure to remove that because you don't want any power in the system. Once that's removed, um, Primarily, the, our main goals here are twofold. Uh, we want to get the dust out of the laptop, and then we also don't want to hurt the laptop. Um, dust just accumulates over time. It's a really good idea to dust out your laptop every six months to a year. Um, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're just going to remove the screws from the back panel, which I've already done. So I'm just going to slide the back panel off. Now I'll expose the inside here. Here's your uh, CPU fan. Uh, most, well, I shouldn't say most laptops. Some laptops actually only have one fan, that's the CPU fan. And here's the heat sink. So you have to make sure the fan's cl clear of dust, and you have to make sure the heat sink fans are clear of dust. If you have a dedicated GPU in your system, you'll have it right over here. You'll have kind of the same setup. You'll have a heat sink over it that overlays on the fan exhaust. So the same thing, just make sure that's clear, and make sure that's clear. So we're just going to take our can of compressed air, and one quick tip is you want to hold it vertical. You don't want to hold it horizontal or the liquid inside will come out. Uh, you want to hold it like this, so you just kind of got to raise up your laptop so you can make sure to do that. And you don't want to use a vacuum cleaner because those are dangerous to electronic components. And you also don't want to use an air comp compressor because while you can use that with a desktop, the fans in a laptop are a lot more delicate, and the PSI is just too high in those. So you want to go with a can of compressed air if you can. All right, so clean this. Pretty much what we want to do is just give it some short bursts right into the fence. And if you can, try to have someone help you. Um, it's best if you can hold the fan still while you do this. Um, if you can't, that's all right. Uh, just try not to let it spin too fast. So you, again, you just do some quick bursts into there. And you also do some into the fan itself. Notice how I'm only doing quick bursts so I don't let the fan spin too much. Once that's done, you just do the same thing to the other side. So just some burst into there and some burst into there like I did over here. And sometimes after you clean it, you'll see little clumps of dust that are in your uh, fan afterwards. Or maybe behind the uh, heat sink. So what you have to do is just grab a, a little set of something non-conductive, like uh, <laughs> you could use chopsticks, toothpicks, uh, Q-tips, anything really. Uh, you just want to get those little clumps of dust out of that fan because uh, if they stay in there, it might uh, make the fans stop running at some point. You don't want that. So, But again, if you have any questions, just feel free to contact Puget System Support. And that's all, all there is to it. Uh, all we got to do is just put everything back to the way it was. Kind of a reverse process of everything. And uh, that's it. Thanks.